Hi everyone, it's Colleen, your historical homemaker, and tonight in the kitchen, I made one of President Grover Cleveland's favorite foods, which was parsnip fritters. Um, his also most favorite food was actually squirrel stew, but I wasn't about to make squirrel stew in my kitchen, and anyone that knows me knows that I'm squirrel has never really tasted my mouth and or lips and probably never will. No offense to you squirrel gravy lovers or squirrel stew lovers out there. God bless ya, but the city girl, sorry, I'm gonna do it. So I did make, however, his parsnip fritters, but because I couldn't find parsnip in my local grocery store, I had to use turnips, which is a wonderful alternative to parsnips. Anyway, the parsnip fritters of, that Grover Cleveland enjoyed were on the White House menu for Thanksgiving when he was in office in 1885 to 1889. And these were truly one of his favorites and you can find the recipe on thehistoricalhomemaker.com and we are going to enjoy parsnip or right now they are turnip fritters in our home tonight and I hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for following. When making these wonderful fritters, you need about a pound's worth of parsnips, or I use turnips. Wash, peel, and slice up those delicious turnips. Add your turnips into a pot of boiling water and cook for about eight minutes until they're softened. When the turnips are done boiling, put them in a colander and drain all of the liquid. Add the drained turnips into a large bowl. Mash the turnips with either a potato masher or you can even use a fork. Just make sure to mash them really, really well. You don't want any lumps, so just keep mashing, mashing, mashing until there are no lumps at all. Add flour to your mashed turnips. Also add a well-beaten egg and a little bit of salt for some seasoning and taste. I'm just now adding a little bit of chopped fresh parsley for some extra flavoring. Make sure to mix these ingredients really, really well and incorporate all of the seasonings together and you will have a really wonderful texture. In a heated pan of hot oil, drop a spoonful of the mixture. Press on the top of the fritters to make sure that they're well rounded. Cook the fritters for two minutes on each side and then transfer to a plate lined with paper towels. The fritters are now on a serving plate and they are ready to eat. Top these with sour cream, applesauce, cheese, anything. They're so delicious.